what up what up y'all welcome back I'm gonna do a quick little video I'm gonna cook both of these fish side by side and see which one tastes better i don't know if you've ever been curious but i definitely have been wondering if bluegill tastes as good as crappie let's find out all right so basically i have a, a combination of uh fish fry and just lay the fish down away from me Turn the fire up, get it nice and hot. Get ready to flip. Mm. That's the crisp I'm looking for. like that. It's a little bigger than I thought it was. So basically I'm just gonna let it cook on this side, flip it, let it crisp up, kind of move it around so the tail gets its time in. So I'm gonna grab the head, kind of move it up, let the tail get the grease on it. You know, kind of get that damn thing. I didn't want to use too much grease or buy more so gonna cook this side. Well, all right, so let's go ahead and try it out. I don't know how many of you have ever um, caught crappie and have caught bluegill. One thing about bluegill, they put up a big fight and they're very fun to catch. But honestly, I've never actually ate one before. And people have told me that they taste good and some people even say they're better than crappie. So I wanna find out for myself. So I got them both here side by side. Crappie's one of my favorite fish to eat. I never had bluegill before, but you know, I, I'm pretty sure it tastes good. So let me go ahead and try them both and see um, what I think. I have no doubt that it's gonna be good. And I understand some folks, <laughs> I would have other people try with me, but I, I always prefer to fry the fish whole like this because I feel like you don't waste any meat this way. I know a lot of people feel like this a little intimidated. They don't want their fish looking back at them. But I mean, I feel like you just get more out of the fish when you fry it whole. With, with that said, let me go ahead and go with the bluegill first. I already know. Hmm. Okay. That's good. Not as good as crappie. It's good. But let me go ahead and go back to the crappie and see. Crappie. Hmm. Honestly, I th think they're they're similar, very close in taste, but the the crappie tastes a little bit better. The crappie is softer. It's uh the flesh is it, the crappie is a little bit more juicy but the bluegill is a smaller fish. I didn't, I didn't cook it too long. I just think that the, the bluegill is a, a more firm and it's a more firm fish and it has a, the flakes are a little um, tighter, like they flake off better. Not better, but just different. Hmm. Either way, they're both good. They don't taste the same. I think the crappie's a little bit better. The crappie's a little bit more juicy. And I don't know, I just, I just like the crappie better. But if I catch bluegill, I will definitely take them home and fry them up. All right, y'all, so that's it. Um, do me a favor and comment down below what's your favorite fish to eat, what's your favorite pan fish to eat, whether it's freshwater or saltwater. And when I say pan fish, I'm thinking of crappie, bluegill, red ear, or um, surf perch, uh, opali perch. I never really ate one of those. Sargo, all those are considered panfish in my book. So let me know what's your favorite and how you like to prepare and what do you think about crappie versus bluegill? Is one better than the other? Who knows? To me, I like, I prefer crappie. But that said y'all, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And if I don't catch you in the water, 
Y'all know I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.